Hi guys, so welcome back. This week we're checking out Old Town, which is going to be, it's an outdoor museum, um, a live museum, I guess what's called. I made a video from here, uh, I think a year ago, maybe two, and that was during the summer, so that's kind of like a more detailed look into what Gamlebi is but it's centrally located in Aarhus where I live and I love coming here and for my birthday my friends actually pitched in and they gave me like a year pass it makes the snow come alive with the light like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor and I'm thinking of you and how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you come up with me tonight Next we're going on a carriage ride Let's go We're in a carriage <laughs> It's very bumpy Cities in this gown so come on and take a Christmas stroll with me tonight. We can take a shortcut through the park. Walk real close, holding hands there in the dark. Have some hot chocolate in a daily store. We started out with a carriage ride and I've never tried that before so uh, dad was like there's not a lot of things you haven't tried so we have to do it. <laughs> I agree. You remember my dad from uh, Austria. We traveled together to uh, Salzburg and Hallstatt. So if you're interested I'll link those videos up below. And we are entering the bakery. The bakery is my favorite place. That and the toy museum in this whole museum. They have delicious honey hearts in there. So let's go try those out. Is it good? Mm. Yeah. It tastes very good. Mm. This dude over here, he's calling himself a yeller. So he's walking around with like a stick with a mistletoe at the end and holding it over people so they can kiss. It's kind of funny. Dad asked him what he did and he said, well, when I start doing what I do, you'll know because it's yelling, I guess, kind of loud. <laughs> It says on this sign that this is the history of Christmas. So they must have a good exhibit in here. Let's check it out. Max is not in the best mood today. He's a little bit fussy, so now I'm wearing him and carrying him around. <laughs> He's eating a lot of endless fuel. Mm. You like it? Uh. It's getting dark, so I really hope you can still see something on this footage. We are very close to the winter solstice, which is on the 21st of December. And that is actually where Christmas in Denmark comes from, because originally in Denmark it's called Yule. So you might, might know the expression Yuletide. Uh, I've heard that mentioned a lot of times, and I'm pretty sure that comes from the Scandinavian word of celebrating Yule. It's originally a celebration we've had here for thousands of years, and it was about drinking Yule. So it involved a lot of milk, which is an alcoholic drink, a lot of Yule lie, which is um, Christmas, like Yule games, and they were 
a lot of times had an erotic undertone, which is kind of funny. So it started like an excuse to really let loose a little bit in Scandinavia around that time. And then later Christianity was added to that and it became all about Jesus. I'm not a historian, but I've heard that historians are pretty sure that Jesus was actually born closer to April because the sheep would not be outside uh, needing to be herded around December. So they are pretty sure that they actually picked this date because they could just kind of take the party that, and the celebration that was already going on and then add it as a Christmas thing. So who knows, maybe Christmas is in December because of all the Viking solstice ce celebrations of Yule already. It's kind of funny. Now again, I'm not a historian, but this is what I've heard and I've heard it mentioned a lot of times, so it might be true. We're enjoying the fire show. They have that in December every weekend as well and hopefully we're gonna check out the merchandise store and the toy museum which are my favorites but it's getting dark soon With light, like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor and I'm thinking of you and how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try so won't you come up with me tonight On a Christmas stroll Through a wintry town It's a lovely sight When the city's in this gown So come on and take a Christmas stroll With me tonight Hey guys, I hope you like checking out Gamle B with us. This is one of my favorite places to go to and I try to go every year. And now that I have a year pass, I'm going to be going a lot in 2018. I'm really excited. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It helps me reach a lot more people. And all there is left to say is Merry Christmas. We'll see you in 2018. Bye.